we are now ready to start creating lots. First off we're going to split a string which will be the starting edge of the lots. So we're just simply going to go down and use the option split which is CAD string split. We pick on the string at the bottom of the right hand side and then we pick on the vertex. So now we have a completely separate string from the front of the lots and the rear of the lots. We're also going to do that at the bottom on the other side of the road. So again it's in this the split icon still. So we pick on the string and accept and pick on this vertex, pick back on the string and pick on that vertex. So again you'll see we've got unique strings for the start and end. We've got a unique string for the front and a unique string going around the back of the lots. Prior to creating the lots we're just going to go to our toggle button and toggle off the vertex indices. We're going to use a number of methods for creating the lots. We select the option design, estate lots, create lots and we can actually pin up the toolbar so if we click up the top and we'll be using some of these options. Okay so the first one we use is create lots. So we're going to select a model for the lot which will be lots. The view we're going to be using is view 1. The lot color will be magenta. The minimum area will be 800. The minimum frontage will be 8. So this is the minimum distance around the front that will allow it to create the lot. The area tolerance will be 0 0.01 so it will iterate until it gets to within 0 0.01 of 800 square meters. It may be 0 0.01 smaller or 0 0.01 higher. So we start off we pick the front edge so with the front edge, we pick with direction, accept, we then pick the back edge, again picking with direction and accept, and we pick the starting edge, we don't need to pick with direction, accept, and we change the method to perpendicular start point, and we pick a point and we're just going to pick a point on the front and select process. For the next lot we're going to change the method to parallel pick and we pick on this edge. We then select process and we can select process again to create our third lot. We're just going to minimize this one now and we the next lot will be created by picking four segments and the lot will close back to the first point to create an area. So we select create lots by picking segments. We can middle click to pick the model name and the color. And we tick on join first and last segments and we start picking with direction. So pick, accept, pick, accept, zoom in here, pick, accept, pick, accept, and select process. If we press F2, we can click on the newly created lot and see the area of 1006.009. Okay, so we've finished on this lot creation type. We're now going to return to our previous option that we were using, our previous panel. We're going to now set our minimum area to 1100 and we re-pick the lot edge. We re-pick the lot side pick edge, which is this one here. We're going to this time use a pivot pick 
we pick a point and we're going to create a lot that's going to create a lot at 1100 square meters by swiveling about this point here so we select process and if we were to select F2 and click on the newly created lot we'll see a, an area of 1099.998 so you see that's within that tolerance of 0 0.01 Okay, so for the next lot, we're going to change our method to perpendicular start point. And we're just going to pick a point a little bit further along the road. We select process. We're then going to change our method now to just parallel edge. Select process again and again. For the next point at the head of the cul-de-sac, we're going to change the new area to 900 and we're going to do a pivot pick and we're going to pivot on this point and accept and select process. At the head of the cul-de-sac, we're going to have a park, so we need to create a lot and again we're going to do it by picking segments so we can minimize our create lot and we go back to create lots by picking segments the model this time will be park and the color will be green again we'll join the first and last segment and we're going to pick the sides so we're going to start from this side one two three four five six seven and select process we now need to turn on the model park. We can now finish on this panel and continue our other lots around. So we just need to re-pick the edge again, the starting edge. And we're still in the pivot pick option, but we just have to change the area back to 800. And we select the point that we're going to pivot from, pick and accept, and select process. For the next three lots, we're going to nominate a bearing. So we simply change the method to parallel bearing. And we're going to type in a bearing of 3 degrees 45 or 3.45 and select process, process, process. For the next one, we'd use a pivot pick again pivot pick, pick the back corner this time and process and for our last lot we're going to use an option to form a lot polygon from picking the center of a series of strings a search distance is entered to find all the strings within the search distance radius so we can just finish on this option now so we use the option create lots by picking point inside Again we pick view 1, the model for lots, middle click and pick on a lot, color, middle click and pick on a lot, and the search distance will leave us 50, and we select pick, and we just pick in the middle of this lot and accept. And you'll see that it's generated a lot. This completes the house lots. We're now going to create a lot for the road, so we can just finish on the create pick inside. We're going to turn off the model lots. We're going to turn off the park. And we're going to turn on the model surround. We'll also turn off the road center line. Toggle off our vertices. And we're going to use an option called create lots, create lots polygon discovery. So we'll set the mode to create all found. We select pick and then we pick a point inside the polygon. I'm going to pick about halfway around the curve here and accept. Now you'll see that it's actually highlighted the polygon and select finish and you'll see a polygon for road has been created. If you press F2 and you click 
you've got the road and again you've got the area.